100 teens and lots of alcohol. That's what police say they found when they broke up a wild party at an expensive home in Coronado. Well, tonight they're planning on using the social host ordinance to host the hold rather the party's 18 year old host accountable. New at five o'clock, 10 News reporter Allison Ash is live with what she has learned about the party that some parents say was way out of control. Allison. Yeah, and the parents we talked to have chosen not to go on camera because this is such a small, such a tight community. But uh, it happened at the house you see right behind me, the one with the green roof back there about 10 days ago. Sources tell me the teens had to dress up as animals to get in. And when they did get in, the beer was flowing. It's quite a place for a party. Zillow says it has six bedrooms and six and a half baths. This bayfront property is worth four and a half million dollars. This was the kind of scene Coronado police found. This video from a movie called Project X shows kids partying it up. These pictures were taken by sheriff's deputies at a teen beer bash in Rancho Santa Fe. Coronado police wouldn't share their pictures with us, but say those signature red cups were everywhere. When police arrived here, kids took off running. Sources tell us some even dove into the bay and swam away. Two girls, aged 16 and 17, wound up in the emergency room of Sharp Coronado, showing signs of alcohol poisoning. Several teens we spoke to knew about the bash, but those who'd actually been there had no interest in speaking to us. We're told most are seniors at Coronado High who will graduate here on the football field tomorrow. Among them will be the party's host. Since he hasn't been charged, we aren't using his name. When we visited his house, the maid told us nobody wanted to talk. Please tell me they will be pursuing a misdemeanor charge of violating the city's social host ordinance. That is punishable by up to a thousand dollar fine or up to six months and or up to six months in jail. Since the parents were not home here at this point, they are in the clear. We'll keep checking with Coronado police and let you know what happens. We're live in Coronado, Allison Ash, 10 News.